The jewels of the Central and South American rainforest certainly are the poison dart or poison arrow frogs. These frogs are beautifully colored as you can see. They get their name of course from the natives that inhabit these areas use them in hunting. What they do is catch an adult frog they would rub the tip of the arrow or the tip of the poison dart they're using on the frog's back. They have to agitate the frog a little bit in order to get the frog to secrete the toxic poisons that naturally come out of their skin. That poison would then be dried onto the arrow or the dart and they use that to catch things way high in the canopy where without these frogs assisting them, they'd never be able to get their food. It's very difficult for anybody that lives in the rainforest to catch something, the trees are 80 to 100 feet high. So the poison dart frogs are animals that mankind uses almost as a tool to live in a very inhospitable area. They get the poison, however, uh, it's not a natural thing that comes out of their back. We've learned over the years that the frogs acquire this poison through a series of events. A small ant would eat the root of a plant that ant would get eaten by another insect, and the frog would eat that insect. And the toxins are passed on, possibly from the plant itself, all the way through into the frog's body, and therefore out of its skin. That's how they make that poison. There's probably a hundred different poison dart, poison arrow frogs out there, but only very few of them are that toxic to humans. One in particular comes from Colombia, it's called the Terriblis frog. Its, its poison is so potent that just touching it, it could permeate your skin and cause death. So these animals are highly sought after by the Indians there who know enough to grab a leaf and wrap it around the frog, to hold on to it. Sometimes they put them over a flame to get the frog incensed and he produces the poison. They'll use that poison, but they always thank the frog for using the poison and they let him go and release him back into the forest. No frogs are hurt in the making of that film. It's very, very important. People of the forest have a way of understanding that rather than destroying the animal, they use them to their advantage. So poison dart frogs have a great relationship with the people of the forest in Central and South America. They are indeed the jewels. Look at these fantastic colors. This is just a, a, a small variety that we have here in front of us. Poison dart, poison arrow frogs. You can't make this stuff up.